asks to ask about like, oh, what did you do growing up and stuff like that. So yeah, engaging. For Zach naman, uh, cool. Char! Cool. <laughs> no, no, it's true because you're chill. You're like cool. You're like, uh, you have this energy na, I don't care. Bahala sila. Ganon. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> and then Michael is like, um, energetic. Energy. Energy. If you want, like, if you'll go to somewhere, it's all energy. So yeah, energetic for Michael. Oh, uh, ikaw naman, Rob. Rob. Uh, so, best thing about Zach, um, about Zach, I think he's very, I think he's also very chill, very calm. I think when he, when he get to, I think maybe it's, uh, for most people, I think, uh, Zach is not really, um, I thought, because he's, like, a bit quiet, he's a bit judgmental, maybe he's looking at everyone, but, like, he's just, like, if you talk to him, he's like, I doesn't doesn't really care that much, and it's like, I guess it's easier to sort of build like um, I guess sort of a connection with him, uh, and uh, with um, Seham, I I thought that she's a very smart person. Uh, I could I could actually see Why? it. Oh my gosh, that's like one of the best uh words ever. Like one of the best things <laughs> I like hearing from people. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Uh, I think you're very smart too. Thank you. Not only uh, smart in the academic sense, but I guess smart in the way that you can just um, basically, if you feel you you're smart in the sense that if there's some point where you have to sort of, have to sort of um, where, where there's some sort of because sometimes in life you have to sort of just bluff through things. I guess you're smart in that sense. And not only that, you, you're just smart academically, I guess smart in some senses that you need to really get yourself yeah. out of Everyone does, but out of those situations. You, you have good okay. strategy skills for that. Okay. Um, and then for Michael, uh, I think the best thing the best thing about him, I think he's just very energetic. Uh, no, very determined, very determined actually. Um, and it's very, he's very determined in a way that's not at all destructive or positive. Um, like, of course, like, like most people else, um, yeah, uh, yeah, he's, he's very, he's just, he's, he's, he brought up that good energy without trying to let, grab, pull anyone down. That's what I think is, he's very, when, and when he competes, he's determined and he's very honorable. Uh, so I'd say, um, determined and honorable is the way to put it because he's positive. He doesn't want to drag anyone down socially and, uh, yeah. He competes, in, I believe he's the type of person to compete in sports with honor and not really cheat in any way, shape, or form. So, good sportsmanship, good relationship, very determined. True, correct. Yeah, I can say that all very accurate about each other. Child. And we're gonna play the next activity na daw kapag nakaabot tayo ng 600k. Oh. Sana bago tayo makaabot sa 600k, nakabalik na din si Michael Burr. <laughs> Kasi kapag hindi daw, si Rob na ipapalit sa flex. Oh! <laughs> Rob, are you ready to be the next flex mate? Flex mate? Uh, I'm ready to lose. No, he's not flex mate. He's flex mate. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> flex mate. This... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Life hits 600k in the host of diamonds. Then I will use the force to tell Michael to come over here. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see if it's accurate. Let's go for 600k, guys. But actually, I cannot use the force. Uh, just in case, I am not a Jedi or a Sith. But he, at least you'll try. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ano na tayo? Paano tayo din ngayon, Michael Bird? Come in the host. Ano, Michael Burr, 15 minutes pa to, wala ka pa. <laughs> How long has it been ba? 15 minutes. Baka na low, but na empty. Oh, true. Buti nga hindi nag-e-end yung, ano, no, yung stream kapag gano. Yung it's the live of Star wala. Magic kasi. So it's not gonna end the live. Oh. Hindi, siya yung host. Siya yung may gamit ng account. Tama ba? Oh. Ah, really? Yeah. Oh. 
Butin lang hindi nag-end. But the problem is that maybe if he tries going in, it's gonna be like close current stream first. Oh. And then can't go. Uh, thank you so much mga sa mga nagstay pa din diyan. Ang dami niyo pa rin 517 kayo guys. Salamat po. And sa mga nagbagsak na, salamat guys. Ayan, nawala na rin si Seham. <laughs> No, I'm here. I'm just nakatulala. <laughs> like, I'm just reading them. <laughs> I'm just reading. Because <laughs> I'm like, go na, Zaki, go na. Do. So, okay na tayo. What's your stand on the following statements? Please share personal stories and insights to support your claim. Read, react, or relate. And relate. Mm. Read, react, relate. So, the first statement is, Men should always do the first move when attracted to a girl. Oh. Do you agree with that? Read, react, and relate. Okay, uh, guys. So, na read ko na. So, react naman ako ngayon. I think it's like. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, I don't think it should be a. Okay, actually, sorry. Go. Go, Rob. I don't think it should be a. A should, but like it's most common that it is, right? But it kind of just puts, because both, I mean, there's no doubt that men and women both want to have some intimate or love relationship with each other. So I, th I don't think there should be too much pressure on the man to start things. Um, because like, to be honest, like loving or like having any intimate relationship is a give and take, right? So I think, um, I think we can also, like, yes, there is more pressure for men to approach the, but uh, la lapitan sa babae talaga. Pero that's the case, but I feel like with, today, with like today's society and with most societies, there's not really a big balance, okay, which is what I think should happen. So maybe uh, we should give women more confidence to be able to talk to the man first. Because the thing is, I guess it's also a thing to bash the woman if they're a bit confident in engaging the man. Yes, yes. that's something that's um, true. So I think right now we should we should keep that balance. Like maybe we should encourage we should encourage more women to want to um, approach the man because really to me it just comes down to a matter of confidence as to whether or not you're ready to meet a person or ready to engage with in intimate activities with another. It just comes down to a matter of confidence and who do we encourage those confidence yes. we encourage the man to of course approach the woman but do we encourage yeah. them to also be confident enough to approach the man first in my opinion probably not yes hindi naman kailangan lalo na ngayon 2022 na guys if if may gusto kayo regardless of the sexuality or gender mo if you like someone kung gusto mo siyang kausapin go wala namang mali kung ikaw yung unang mag first move if you really like the person Kung gusto mo talaga siyang i-pursue or makilala. For me, wala namang mali dun. But sometimes, I'll tell you what. Guys, girls, this is a tip for you. Guys love it when you make the first move and guys love it when you pounce it. Like when you just pounce on them. Hey! Guys, guys love it. I tell you, guys love it. Like girls don't like, the girls don't like clingy guys. But I tell you what, secretly, guys love clingy women. I swear, it's like mom, maybe they'll pretend that they don't like it, like, ah, get off me. In their mind, they're like, oh, yes. Because in the guy's mind, it's like, yes, I'm this, like, I'm a desired man. Yes, yes, I'm awesome. Yeah, it raises a guy's ego and it raises the guy's ego, not only ego, it raises his, like, yes, I'm loved, I'm desired. It raises his security so much higher. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think Michael's trying to get in the live. Oh. He's commenting, but he yeah. can't go up. Ah. He's asking, "Nawala ba ako?" He's asking the group chat right now. Go, kanina ka pa wala. Yes, nawala ka, Michael. <laughs> you you can't go up. Di siya makakiyat. No. What shall we do? Ah, okay. uh, he's in the live. So... Itawid na lang natin to. <laughs> in the live po he's using the star magic phil's account commenting here he's like guys guys yeah 
Ikaw naman daw si Ram. What are your react? What is your react? Okay. Well, my thoughts, like Rob said, like mostly it's a stigma where men should be the first to make uh, the move. And then if the girl does it, people get mad. And I think that that should not be a thing anymore. Because, you know, sometimes uh, maybe uh, there are situations where the men are so insecure or so shy to do the first move because of fear of rejection. So I really uh, understand that sometimes they are afraid of doing the first move. So I believe that even if it's a woman who does it first, it should not be a bad thing because yeah. like everyone's fighting for equality. But why does it not apply when it comes to these type of things, right? Yeah. So that's my thoughts. I understand you because, like, to be honest, uh, he should. I think people, in my opinion, at least, like. In their youthful times, they should be encouraged to explore, if you know what I mean, or encouraged to date. Um, because at the end of the day, it is, you know, love. I think love is like the, cent the, the center core of life, you know, creating new life. And why does it have to be one person that does the fighting in literally, you know, fighting against what pe other people think? Why does it have to be? One person just having to engage and having to be active, having to do all the fighting, have to do, having to raise all the confidence to talk to that woman, you know, despite all of her obstacles, she, you know, he may be seen as desperate and may be seen as stupid. He's fighting against all these internal thoughts of what people think about them. Why shouldn't women also do the same? Yeah. Why, why can't why can't it be a give and take? Because I feel like sometimes uh, I can relate to this. It's it's a lot of pressure and it is very nerve wracking sometimes um, to talk to a woman. Uh, and of course, these, these things are supposed to be, I mean, these are things that are not normal, but um, yeah, I don't see why women don't want to do the same. That's Michael Ver right now, but we don't have to hear it. This is a screenshot of the screenshot. He showed a screenshot and his face is there. But we can't see or hear him. Michael! Michael Ver, pero narinig mo kami, Michael Ver. Ganito na lang, Michael Ver, yung sagot mo, comment mo na lang, bro. When I say Michael, you say Ver. Michael. Ver. Michael. Ver. Comment mo na lang, Michael Ver. Basahin ko na lang with your... Oh my gosh. Voice. Your voice is invisible. We so, can't... Da, ano daw, next statement. A girl and a guy can be best friends without getting attracted to each other. Oh. Hmm. I think that's true. Mm. Yeah. Kayo, diyan. Parang feeling ko hindi. <laughs> what? Why? Pero, what makes you? Pero kasi meron gan mga ganun talaga na, na ano, platonic talaga yung ano nila relationship, walang walang romantic. Pero I think oh, pwede. <laughs> ano ba <ko> talaga? <laughs> Well, pero kasi base sa mga nakikita ko lang sa mga syempre from experience. Palagi pa isang na fall Ah. Pero hindi ko sinasabi na hindi siya possible kasi meron din man, kasi nga talaga na merong mga platonic relationships na. Yan. Hindi romantic. Yes. That's my answer. <laughs> so yes or no? No. What? You don't Yes, think... yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> yes, yes, they can. Okay, so they can. That's what you think. Yeah. Okay, so I also think that they can. It's very much possible that a girl and a guy can be best friends without getting attracted to each other. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and sometimes it, it becomes like a thing where you're like siblings and you can't see uh, each other in a romantic way, right? And then... Um, yeah, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. So, how about you, Rob? What do you think? I think, yeah, like, if a guy is 15 and, like, the teacher's 45 and they make, like, best relation, friend, best friends with each other. Ayan! Ayan! Bakit ka bumalik, bro? Nag-alive kami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, kanina pa ako, actually, <laughs> nagsasalita nga ako. Like, hindi nyo pala ako naririnig. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, bro. And guys, ito nga pala si Michael Burr ang inyong flexmate. 
Ay, hello pala guys. Welcome pala sa live. Thank you pala. Ay, ayun na. Oh. Pa yung light. Maraming salamat po sa... Ma- sa... Bro, nasa gate, nasa, nasa ano na kami. Second statement. <laughs> ano, ano yung question? Ito yung statement guys? na kailangan mo mag-react. A girl and a guy can be best friends without getting attract- attracted to each other. Maging best friends without getting attracted to each other? Yeah, yeah meron naman ganun. Meron naman ganun. Actually, maraming ganun. <laughs> Ba't nakasmile sa akin? Ba't nakasmile sa akin? There, there are like many... Rob, Rob daw muna. Rob daw muna. Kasi hindi pa siya tapos. Oh, si Rob. Um, Rob, Rob. I think like a lot of people can have like a mother-son relationship. Like if a woman is 60 years old and a guy is 20 years old, I guess they can have that sort of mother-son relationship. <laughs> What if it's the same age group? Are you saying it's not possible? Oh, please, I don't want to have a controversial opinion on this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not controversial. It's just, everyone has different opinions. You're just sharing oh, yours. Oh, I don't want to be canceled. I don't want to you. I don't no, wanna... you're not. We all have different. We're asking your thoughts. I don't want to lose a fan base because of this, but like... No. You're not, you're not. It's yes, just sharing. Well, no, you're just sharing. If if the guy is gay and the girl is straight, then she'll think... Or if the what? girl is and the guy no, is straight. I think Rob has a point. I think Rob has a point. I, I get your point. I get your point. I get, so, I get it's your absolutely. point. Absolutely. In that, in that case, like, she'll think. Yeah, she'll think. Explain. Elaborate. What, what if you both are, like, of the same age and... You know why? Why do you think that it's not possible? Kung ganon. Um. Actually, to some certain extent, I do think it's possible. <laughs> some, to some, like to some, like everything. Everything is correct to some extent, if you know what I mean. So, like for a time being, there is a time where two people can become best friends without having that attraction to each other. But at some point, maybe if it's like a guy and a girl. They're kind of just feeling it, especially when they're young, when their hormones are exploding and everything. Like, most likely, statistically, along the way, that may happen. I'm gonna lose a lot of fans here. No, you're not. You're not. Don't worry, guys. Everyone understands that. Like, Everyone understands like, your. Like, especially when you're in your teen years, and you're probably hormonal and lonely, then probably you're going to you're going to look at the nearest parameter of like intimacy. So I think in that regards, maybe-ish, okay? Um, I, I guess. Um, because, but for that time being, that's of course platonic. But so can't like, and of course when you mean platonic, like it's platonic on the surface, but deep down inside, the guy's kind of thinking like, she's attractive. And the girl's thinking that he's attractive. And from that, like, from the from the outside surface infatuation it kind of goes maybe deeper upon that deeper upon that not not because they're both forcing it but because yeah. it just comes naturally it just, it, just comes natu- it, it just comes naturally like yeah. it become the boat becomes more dense it sinks deeper uh, into the water and it's not really much they can relate to but i guess they I guess they can be best friends afterwards if that ever happens. Um, but I think most likely the guy will catch feelings because um, I've seen I've seen like um, books and TV shows of that happening. And of course, TV shows are not real life; They're, they will not they'll never be. But yeah, maybe um, there's this, there's this, there's this, okay. Here's a TV show example. There's a Dawson's Creek. Dawson and Joey know oh, each other. Oh, that sounds familiar. I don't know if I've watched that. Dawson and Joey, they know each other for 10 years. Let me see that. Yeah, they know each other for 10 years. And um, yeah. ever since they were 5 to 15, now they're going to high school. And um, they've had this completely platonic relationship until they're 15 years old. They realize that they actually like each other. But, oh. then, Joey, but then Joey, later on, they break up, Dawson and Joey. And then Joey later on falls in love with Dawson's best friend, Pacey. Ooh. And Joey and Pacey have a thing for each other. And then Joey considers Dawson as a friend. And, but, that, but Dawson, throughout the rest of the series, is then fighting to be loved by Joey. Like, he's fighting for Joey's love instead. Oh. So the, guy, the guy is catching feelings. The girl's not anymore. 
So um, I think, and then and then afterwards, Joey then chooses Pacey over Dawson. So um, at the end, Dawson comes to the fact that yes, I've accepted that she doesn't want me; she wants my best friend. So a boy. So that's, like, that's, that, that's 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 true. serious, right? Zap, lepas mo yung camera mo. Bawa na para dito. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for that statement, Rob. Tama naman si nabi ni Rob. Dapat talaga na it depends on depends on sa situation, de ba? De ba? Yun yung ibig sabi ni Rob. It depends on the situation, right, Rob? Yeah, and to to further add on to the story, it's like. For me, what I've learned is like you can always be best friend with someone, like if it's a boy and a girl. But at one point, you're gonna hit that high peak where you actually are gonna be very intimate, in my opinion, at least. That's that's true. That's true.